Hi, my name is Cha. I'm Black Hong Mong from Sabah. I'm 16. You might have seen me in lots of different videos, but this time I'm gonna try to talk more about me and my clothes. I'm in high school. I got 10 weeks for my summer holiday. Sometimes if the weather good, I went out with my family and do a little bit of farming. But sometimes if the weather not very good, one of the things I really like to do is my embroidery. Yeah, some ethnic minorities in Vietnam are losing their culture. Some people, they don't make their clothes anymore, but some people, they make their clothes and they use synthetic fiber. And that's different in our culture. The girl that's same like my age, doesn't matter if they still go to school or live in the village, they still make their clothes. There are three reasons why I think people still make their own clothes. Women often get together and we do our embroidery while having a chit chat. I also love watching my mom twist the hemp string. It is very interesting technique which made me want to learn. My auntie is very skilled at weaving the hemp on the hand loom made by my uncle. It takes a lot of care and patience and this is something I would want to learn when I get the chance. Our Lunar New Year Festival is one of the biggest celebrations in the Hermon calendar. So many people come from different places all around to see games like catching goat or balancing on the bamboo bridge. There is a lot of singing and dancing um, but the most exciting part for me is seeing everyone dress up in newly made Hermon clothes. The colour and design change over time. We are all interested to see what other people are wearing. Seeing unique patterns and new design help give me new idea so that I can recreate next year. Our clothes have changed a lot over the year. 20 years ago, there was almost no embroidery on the people's clothes. Nowadays, it's more colourful and really impressive. Our clothes are usually very colourful and a complete outfit takes a lot of time and effort. We wear hemp jacket dyed deep blue with natural indigo. Hemp is grown all over in Sabah and doesn't need chemical treatments of other plant material. The end product is very durable and can last twice as long as cotton. The outer layers of the hemp stalks are stripped after having gone through a drying process, leaving behind strands of fiber. These threads are then twisted, boiled and put on a wooden hand loom to make our fabric. We also grow indigo plant. Almost every farm has indigo, which love growing the shade between taller corn or under big tree. In June, the indigo leaves are cut and soak in a big barrel of water. After three days, we remove the leaves and mix the water by pouring to create indigo color bubble that thicken to a paste. We make a solution from water filter through fire ash. Then we add lime powder, the mix feel like soap. Indigo paste is then added and this used to dye our clothes. Perhaps the most unusual part of our clothes is the special sheen we add to our jacket. We use a hard wood and a special stone to grind wax into the fiber. The flattening of fiber creates a metallic shine. We love the way this cut the light in the sun. Finally, we do our embroidery. This is done by hand and mostly use silk. Each natural inspired symbol has a different meaning and the meaning are handed down from generation to generation. We take our embroidery wherever we go and we'll sometimes embroider while in the market, when visiting friends and family or while in the field. It's an important social part of our culture. My favorite part of our costume is the beautiful belt. It shows off our embroidery skill and our creativity. We add layers after layers to build up a thick wearable tapestry. Green silk applique features and wearable symbols build up a textural piece that takes many months to finish. Some hidden layers can only be seen when we bend or flake I hope this tells you a little more about our rich tradition and how we make our very unusual clothes. I think this part of our culture will remain strong into the future. Thanks you watching this video. 
See you next time. Bye.